Andrew Rubin is one of 360 volunteers and just had his second injection last week. Andrew, it's good to see you tonight. Welcome. Good to be here. You're a, you're a brave person, uh, obviously, and many people are grateful for what you are doing for obvious reasons. T tell me how this has gone for you. Well, it's been quite a journey. I just had my, my second shot. They were three weeks apart. And after a series of blood tests to make sure I was a good candidate, I had my first shot and within eight hours uh, developed symptoms. I was kind of excited that I developed symptoms because when you go into this study, you're not sure if you're going to get the real thing or a placebo. So while I was lying in bed that first night uh, with, a, with a fever, I was actually thinking to myself, boy, I'm glad I got this because this is what I signed up to do. Uh, the second shot yesterday, which was again three weeks later, again, the series of blood tests, uh, I actually had a bit of a tougher reaction to. It, it took me, instead of 24 hours to recover, it took about 48 hours to recover. The fever was a little bit higher, uh, a little more fatigue. But uh, something strange with this, with this process, this, this immune response that I, I seem to have, is that when it ends, it ends very abruptly and quickly, and you return to feeling great, almost like with the flick of a switch. So while it can be a little scary to people to hear a vaccine and am I gonna get sick, what I, I can tell people, if this thing works, uh, they'll be able to get through it. They'll be able to tolerate it. I'm having a hard time getting past the glad I got this line. Um, you, you weren't scared at all? <laughs> I, I, was a, I was a little bit scared. I'm a hospital administrator, and a lot of my friends and family kept sending me texts and email uh, thanking me for being a healthcare hero. And, and candidly, I felt a little bit like a fraud because it's really the, the nurses, the hospital, the frontline workers who were putting their lives on the line to take care of these people in our hospital and all the hospitals around the country. Uh, so when I read about this study in Pfizer, then learned that NYU Grossman School of Medicine, the organization I work at, NYU Langone Health, was one of the trial sponsors, I was able to research how to get in and apply, and I applied. So it was, it was my way of giving back, and I kind of put the anxiety aside. And it's not, you really don't think about it until you read that consent form and they tell you about everything that can go wrong along the way where you start to second guess yourself. Uh, but uh, you sort of get through it and, and you know you're doing something that's, that's for the good. I had to calm my mother down, of course, a little bit, but I, I did that and uh, I'm, I'm really glad I did this. Yeah, mom's always worried, of course. Um, how high was the fever that you got? It went up to almost 102. Uh, the, the symptoms were, they were flu-like. You know, a lot of people ask me, are you injected with the virus, the COVID virus? And the answer is no. Uh, commonly, a, a vaccine can be, and typically is, an attenuated virus, a virus that's uh, weakened. And uh, your body naturally develops the resistance to that virus. That's how you overcome uh, an actual infection. This is not, in, you're not injected with COVID. You're injected with what's called messenger RNA. And it's I'm not a scientist. I'm not a doctor. But from what I read and understand, it's basically teaching your body how to build a, a, an immune response to the actual virus should it, it enter your blood. And uh, I don't know yet that it worked. I don't know yet that I have antibodies. I don't know when I will know. Uh, this is a phase one portion, the phase one portion of the trial, which is about safety. Uh, and uh, they're measuring that, how well I and the rest of my cohort tolerate the vaccine. Uh, and then I can tell you they are moving rapidly into phase two, which will rapidly go into phase three. And I'm, I'm certainly hopeful and, and I'm living proof that you can get through it. And it's uh, it's really not that bad. If, if this turns out to be the one or at least one of the vaccines that will be used to treat people uh, and prevent COVID, I know you've thought about this question. Obviously, you wouldn't have done this in the first place. How will that make you feel? It will make me feel great. This is one of five that's in the in the national strategy. My fingers are crossed and I'll certainly keep you guys informed.